Hello and welcome to January's uh, newsletter. It might even be on the website that you're seeing this or on social media. But every, every month, uh, Cindy Smith is featuring one of our hands-on healing uh, practitioners. And I have a beautiful lady uh, to uh, introduce to you uh, this evening. And first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. So uh, she inspires you to know that you are wonderful. And some of you may already, if you're an AEP practitioner, know who this is going to be. The, she, um, she tells you that you have the power within you to improve the quality of life in all areas, including your finances, your relationships, spirituality, health and wellness, and living with purpose. She is highly connected with both angel and fairy energy and through her angel card reading, she can help you connect with your own angel team for information and guidance along your journey. Through her fairy card reading, she can help you connect with the fairy energy around you and for information on how to bring more joy into your life. Now, in June of 2015, I was actually lucky enough, and I'm so glad that she's actually put this in her bio. 2015 was when we had the first class of 19 students with Cindy Smith and Dr. Carla Rue. And uh, we were the first group to uh, discover and be trained and certified in the new modality of Angel Empowerment Hands-On Healing. Now, this lady is both a client and a practitioner. She says that she has seen amazing results as she works with Archangel Raphael to assist you in achieving physical and emotional healing. For those of you who know her out there and those of you who don't, please welcome Dawn Gibbons. Hello there. Hey, I'm so glad that you said it was 2015 because it was only a few weeks ago that Cindy and I were trying to figure out when was the first class and I couldn't remember, but yeah. Can you believe it was five years ago already? I know, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm not going to say how old I was then, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, we've come a long way and we have so many more practitioners amongst us. But I think you'll agree with me, Dawn, the most amazing thing is that as we have been practicing, we've actually collected data um, that is proving how wonderful this, uh, this modality is. Um, Absolutely. I know, it's just, it really does blow us away. And of course, we're at an advantage here, we know, but the whole purpose of featuring our practitioners is for you to meet our practitioners and also to hear directly from them, what are the benefits of AP Hands-On Healing? So Dawn, first of all, what made you decide to become a HOH practitioner? Well, first of all, I really did just want to offer my clients some method of healing. Uh, you know, so many people are experiencing, whether it's an um, emotional challenges or physical challenges, and I wanted to offer offer something and there wasn't really a modality that resonated with me and I do connect already with Archangel Raphael through the AEP courses the angel empowerment practitioner courses I've uh, found a connection with Archangel Raphael and when I found out that he had worked with Cindy and Dr. Carl to develop a modality uh, that really rung true for me and so I embraced it took the first class like I said and have been running with it ever since yeah I know so, so for me Archangel Raphael I mean I tell the story that when I I'm, my background is nursing and midwifery and my first probably and even at the, at the time I didn't realize it was Raphael but the times when I would look up to the ceiling in my hospital room as a midwife and go okay I don't know who you are what you are but please just give me an idea how can I help this woman and I would get these little tingles on my head and then something would come to me and if I took it in that second that little bit of advice it would turn things around how did you first meet Raphael? How did I first meet him? Well, I can just tell you the most significant event mm -hmm. where he absolutely proved himself to be present. I have, I moved across the country. I used to live in Ontario and now I live in Calgary, Alberta. And 
in Toronto. My son still lives there. And uh, about a year after I moved, now he's an adult, okay? Um, he's in his 30s now. He was in his 20s at the time. But I had left him, okay, and felt a little bit of guilt about that. And one day I got a text message from my daughter-in-law and she said, KJ has a headache and a stiff neck. I'm taking him to emergency. And the only communication over the next few hours was through text message and with a lot of waiting in between. And there were messages like, um, you know, they're doing a spinal tap, uh, we're in quarantine and all kinds of different things. And, you know, I'm a four hour flight away and I'm very concerned. Um, you know, I understand that they are testing for meningitis and I know what that manifests like. So I was very concerned. So I told my daughter-in-law through text messaging, tell Kyle John to visualize his room filled with green healing light. So that's me sending Raphael to his room. Now, if he does that, that's him accepting that healing, that energy from Raphael. So a lot of time went by. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it seems endless between text messages when there's a worry, right? Mm -hmm. and, I'm trying, and I'm working really hard at, um, you know, remaining calm and everything. But still, uh, you know, my child is in trouble and he's across the country. So I waited and I waited. And while I was waiting, I was checking to see how long or how quickly can I get to Toronto? Mm -hmm. And Finally, I got a text message from my daughter-in-law saying, all the tests were fine, we're going home. So it went from one very extreme concern to absolutely nothing to worry about. Yeah. And I absolutely credit Archangel Raphael. I was sending him, uh, my son was accepting him, and it all worked out in the end. Yay. Yeah, it, it truly is. And thank you so much for sharing that story. Um, you know, it, it, it really is. It's, it's a beautiful gift um, to have this belief system. Um, I just wondering now, you know, we, we, we now know, you know, I, I know how Archangel Raphael has assisted uh, me in the care of my patients, you and your son. What about some of your clients? What results have you actually seen with your hands-on healing clients? Well, I had one client who came to me who was very depressed. Uh, we rate everything on a scale of zero to 10 in degree of severity. Mm -hmm. And um, she rated her depression as an eight. Later, she revealed to me that she would have rated it as a 10 but she did not want me to call anybody out of concern, right? Um, that she was at risk of harming herself. So, um, so she rated herself as an eight to me at the time. And over two visits, she came to me and said, not only am I not depressed, I'm happy. So that was from one very extreme to another. She went from a 10 to a zero in two visits. So that was really quite dramatic of an impact. And I've helped a couple of ladies go through their cancer journey with the support of hands-on healing. And they truly believe that their uh, experience through traditional treatment was much easier than it would have been otherwise had they uh, not received the hands-on healing. So I was really honored to be part of their journey and assist them through that. And uh, both ladies are doing very, very well and uh, completed their treatment and all tests are normal, etc. So that's really wonderful. 
there's a couple of things that you've said there. I, I, I'm, I'm, I always love these interviews, but the one thing is um, that these ladies were actually going through their cancer journey. Uh, so they were seeing you, and from what you're saying, they were actually um, receiving conventional treatment. Um, sure alongside and I think that's something that's very important that we we mention is that AP hands-on healing is not a modality that is to replace um, conventional medicine and I must admit I'd like, I'm sure you because you're familiar with the the language that we use around around cancer care um, Dr. Carla Rue one of the founders actually has language in there um, to assist clients through their, their treatment, whether it be radiotherapy or chemotherapy, correct? That's right. Yeah, so that the, um, so the chemotherapy language, for example, uh, helps to alleviate side effects that might otherwise occur and, and, or at least lighten them so that they're more tolerable. Yeah, absolutely. And then the other thing there is um, I've, I've worked with a number of clients who have depression and stress and anxiety. And one of the things, the furthest things from their mind when they are at that number eight or a number 10 is, is a positive mindset, you know. And um, obviously the theme for this month is having a high vibration and positive mindset. Um, and and obviously with, with depression and anxiety, those clients have the exact opposite. And you know, how do you think we actually can can bring that mindset from this eight, you know, where they are so negative, and you know, even considering self harm like your lady was, and then bringing them all the way back to actually a place of joy and happiness. That's actually raising that vibration, right? The numbers are going the other way around, but how do you think we actually achieve that? How do you think Raphael actually achieves that door? Well, one of the, I am very big with affirmations and it is part of, uh, you know, what I send my clients home with after hands-on healing sessions that they, so that they can um, continue to, heal through between sessions right and be in control of their own wellness and so th there are affirmations like i am healed whole and healthy i am well so speaking as if it is present tense it may not be at the moment but that's how we create it and so i also tell them you know when you are feeling that pain for example um, when you're feeling the pain you can just say something as simple as thank you for the healing thank you for the healing thank you for the healing not even asking for healing to occur but thanking for it as if it has already occurred so right so in effect we're manifesting our own good health right absolutely yeah, absolutely. Um, I've never thought of that. It's in that terms, but you know, when we read, you know, the the law of attraction, and you know, guess sending out those positive vibes into the universe. I remember I manifested um, a house once, and um, I didn't know how I was going to afford it, but I was. I had read somewhere that I should be actually imagining putting my furniture in the house and what it would feel like to be sitting in a chair in the house and really as if I was already there. And sure enough, it happened. Um, and, and that's the same for our health, right? You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So imagining, you know, that we have health and owning that health and claiming it as ours. It's such yes, a I have. I have people doing visualization exercises to imagine, okay, so right now you're not being able to be as active as you would like to be because of certain conditions. And so imagine yourself doing those activities that you would be doing if you were feeling um, com in complete comfort. And so vis because visualization is absolutely a powerful exercise to do. 
Yeah, I love that. I, re I really do. And, and the language, you know, the whole, the premise of this really, of this modality, it is that power of positive thought and, you know, and recognizing how positive and, and how powerful our brain is. Um, we, we, we have meant, we have talked about the three minds. I did that last month with Deb, but would you like to just do a little quick recap on that positive thoughts process and the actual three minds that we work with? Sure. So that's where the affirmations really come in because, um, it's our conscious thinking mind that first of all, um, we hear a lot of negative thoughts and therefore we're repeating the same negative thoughts in our mind and that's creating things that we would prefer not to experience and so if we change those thoughts um, those new thoughts those positive thoughts go into our unconscious mind and i picture it as the unconscious mind is the one that's actually doing the asking to your higher self um, and so if you if you change the data in your unconscious mind then that's really the request that goes out to the universe yeah it, it, and 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 that's what you that's what you ultimately ultimately receive yeah. so it's not that it's not as simple as you ask you receive it's you ask and ask and ask and ask or you state it as it is you state it as it is you state it as as if it is mm -hmm. and then your unconscious mind believes that now mm -hmm. believes a new belief that something is that perhaps in this minute isn't reality um but when your unconscious mind believes it that's the energy that goes to the universe that comes back to you in the form that you're desiring it, it's really like a reprogramming absolutely you know re, reprogramming i mean i love the way that cindy explains about a computer you know yep. now our conscious mind is taking in the surroundings the fact that we're recording this that we're listening to one another we're taking all of that information in as a listener the listener will be or the viewer of this video will be taking that information in and only part of it will actually get stored on the hard drive which is basically the unconscious mind right that's right and, yeah and and so if you've always believed that you know that you have pain um and and you know research and science has proved there is such a connection between the way we perceive pain and actual pain two clients can actually have exactly the same level of pain and yet one will experience it as really high pain and another will experience it as a low pain um, medical practitioners often call that the the pain threshold but mm -hmm. um, I think what we're actually doing in AP Hands-On Healing is we're moving that threshold. So the perception of pain is not seen as, as, as severe as it was. And it actually then encourages um, our clients to go out and do things and be more active and have more purpose in their life. And the more they do that, the more positive they become and so they feed that cycle and they perpetuate it you know it's um it's just like a wheel right <laughs> yeah i i i yeah i love it i love it love it love it um you know i mean no. it's one of the great things about doing this you know is, is being able to share the passion with fellow practitioners because um you really have to experience it absolutely yes <laughs> really and uh, I really like that analogy with the computers um, one of the things with affirmations is, is the repetition and they say you know in order for your unconscious mind to really believe the new belief it takes about 31 days and so when we think about computers say you're downloading a new version of an app if the download gets interrupted you have to start all over again right so if you 
if you do your affirmations for a week and then you miss a week and you start again, your new start has to start from the beginning, 31 days, because you've interrupted the whole reprogramming. So that's really important with, with affirmations is the repetition and consistency. I love that because, and, and obviously one of the things that Dr. Carl and Cindy said right from the get go, when we were in that class five years ago, oh my goodness, um, was that our clients needed to have a minimum of four sessions with us to see the best results. And that's exactly why, right? The, we, we want them to, this is not just, um, our clients don't just lie there and receive a nice massage or a nice Reiki session. They're actually working with us and with Archangel Raphael. Um, can you maybe just explain how they're working with us apart from the positive thinking? But Well, you, you mentioned the language, right? Mm -hmm. So we do, have, um, we do have medical language that we deliver to the client that they then repeat to their unconscious mind, to their body. And it, that is, in a sense, like the affirmations where uh, you know a new belief is being sent to your unconscious mind mm -hmm. and that requires repetition so you know over four weeks your unconscious mind is receiving the new message and uh and really coming to understand how um how you're expecting your body to perform mm -hmm. uh, in a healthy way yeah right? yeah Absolutely. Have you have you actually received hands-on healing? I have. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Because uh, I have as well, and that's one of the perks of being a practitioner. Um, but even though you're working, you're saying that language. You know, you, you feel the energy um, of Archangel Raphael, which is being flowed by the practitioner. And it's hands-on because we lay our hands on the parts of the body that um, Archangel Raphael and Dr. Carl determined that we should. And then we say that language and our clients repeat it. And I don't know about you, but I find that when I'm actually repeating it, at first I was a little bit anxious about getting the wording right, you know, saying it properly. I have a hearing deficit as well, so I was worried that you know, if I didn't hear it and I said it wrong, oh my goodness, you know, they'd have to start again. Um, what would you say for a client, you know, like me lying on the bed thinking, oh, I can't say this or I didn't hear? Well, sometimes there's difficulty pronouncing the words, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I may question, am I really um, placing my hands in the right position, right? I assure people that the work is really being done by Archangel Raphael yeah. and we can trust in him and we can, um, so we can trust that he's going to flow the energy where it needs to be. Our hands on amplifies his energy, but he will make sure that it goes where it needs to go. And also, um, you know, our unconscious mind doesn't really care if we don't pronounce things exactly correctly um, the message is still getting across mm -hmm. if there's a if there's a bit of language that really feels like we've fumbled through it um, you know we might review some of the words that are um, a bit challenging and maybe we repeat it from the beginning mm -hmm. just so that we feel confident that it has flowed properly and that the information has been received accurately mm -hmm. that's really just for our own comfort level I, it may or may not be necessary yeah I've, I've actually done quite a, a few of my clients and still are a children mm -hmm. and, and even young babies um, and it's me saying the language and but I knowing that they are hearing it and and they're not comprehending it as in their conscious mind, but it is going to the subconscious. 
and you know and the other thing about children is they just take everything in they're they they have no filter there they take everything in they are just so open to be programmed for life they don't need that reprogramming right exactly yes yes uh, so you know so this modality is just amazing for um children and babies and i've also um used my hands on healing with seniors who maybe they they're just gonna lie there and have the infant you know hear the language but you see the results as well so absolutely it truly is um you know archangel Raphael doing the work for us yeah i tell people i tell clients you don't have to understand the words you don't have to pronounce the words you just need to say the words and a lot of times you know the client will be so relaxed in the flow of the energy that they'll kind of zone out and so they're not thinking about the words at all so long as they're repeating them it's getting to their unconscious mind and that's what matters beautiful so i have to ask you i know a little little bit of something that has happened this last weekend you've actually just launched a book haven't you i have <laughs> i have <laughs> i am in the process of publishing actually what's going to be a series of children's books uh the first one is already published yeah. it is daphne the blind dog gets adopted so this is about my very own little rescue dog named Daphne and uh, she came to me blind and the book really goes through her journey from being at a rescue organization to being settled in her new home and feeling happy and um, and confident and as she goes through her journey she obviously has some challenges you know she doesn't know where she is she doesn't know what's going on but in her heart she knows things are going to be okay uh so she's got a positive attitude and also um i'll just show you i'll just randomly show a page here i don't know what i put okay so here she is at the vet Aww. uh getting ready to um go to a home but she needs to be in good health first and on every page there is a focus on what she can do what she smells what she can hear what she feels and what she knows in her heart so here she is and she's very uncomfortable and she's having some surgery and she's having her teeth removed but in her heart daphne knew that she there's very a focus on the positive wow i love yeah. it i love it and that's the beauty of animals isn't it though you know they're not like us we don't they you know if an animal injures themselves they just like get them they keep going right they've always got this positive attitude mm -hmm. you, know, you can be the moaning mini sort of like oh ow it hurts and then you <laughs> take on that pain and it just gets worse and worse you know it's, it's because you're feeling negative right so well really um um in this example with at the vet uh let me see so it says um you know she's she's got her tail down she's really quite nervous and scared mm -hmm. so even through being nervous being scared and not understanding what's going on um in her heart she knows it's going to be okay mm -hmm. and so there there can be the discomfort and the nervousness, but it's the internal feeling of just knowing all is well. So, you know, that's what I, that's what I say to my unconscious mind when things are perhaps going um, a little bit bumpy, all is well, all is well, all mm -hmm. is well, not everything's going to be fine. No, yeah. all is well. Everything's going to be fine, puts it in the future, you see. We yeah. need to focus on um, you know, stating as it stating it as if it is. 
right? Um, so, so that's the premise of the book really is um, the positivity focusing on what she can do, not on the blindness. Love it, love it. Oh, I'm so excited. And is it, it's available for sale, is it? It absolutely is, yes. Uh, she has her own website. Oh my uh, ZapneTheBlindDog.com and there, there is a page there about books and there is a list of links where people can order it online. Uh, it's absolutely ready and available for sale around the world. Wow. So I've actually had orders from the UK and Australia throughout the United States and, and Canada um, locally in Calgary, people that know me or people that don't, um, but it's, it's getting some regular orders, which wow. is really exciting. So and at the same time, the second book is being illustrated right now. Wow. That's <laughs> no, <laughs> you're on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I kind of forced myself because on the back cover, it actually says the next book is coming. <laughs> so I committed <laughs> before the first book because it says the title and everything. So I, I committed. <laughs> you manifested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say it's going to be a series. You got to at least have two. <laughs> at least have two. That is brilliant. And, you know, if anybody's watching and they're wondering, why have I, you know, come away from hands-on healing and I'm talking about, you know, Daphne and, uh, and her books and her website, it's so important. You know, when, when uh, you visit our website, which is aphealing.com, is it .com? Yes. Dot com. Sorry. Well, no. dot com, yes. <laughs> um, there is a page there where all of the practitioners are listed and we encourage you uh, to have a look and, and see which of those practitioners actually you feel drawn to. And by featuring our practitioners in these videos every month, you really get to know who our practitioners are. You learn a different perspective about the actual modality and it makes us some entertainment as well. So thank you so much, Dawn, for sharing that. Um, these are really big takeaways for me. Um, the, the one is affirmation and, uh, and how they can uh, really change our life, you know, and the affirmations. The other thing is that, that focusing on the positive and knowing, truly knowing in your heart that everything is, is well and speaking in the present, not the future, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Have I missed Very anything? Important. Is there something else you'd like everybody to be aware of and to take away? Well, one of the things that's very important when we're dealing with a angel energy, uh, when I'm dealing with Archangel Raphael with healing, mm -hmm. I asked him for some sort of um, affirmation or something to give my clients when they go home so that they can continue their healing. So the thing is important to ask for the assistance. So he gave me something that rhymes that I'll share with everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, as a way of asking and because it rhymes it can be become something that you can remember it goes throughout my body in every part in my mind and emotional heart Raphael, who knows how i'm feeling thank you for complete and rapid healing oh i love that <laughs> so i like to say that when my head's on the pillow and i'm going to sleep because when your unconscious mind is at rest, that's a very good time to receive the energy of the healing. So he heals me and my clients during the night because we've asked. I love that, Dawn. Dawn, you are such a, oh, what's the word? You just, you're just hustling and bustling and <laughs> you're so creative and innovative. Um, I love your energy and uh, I, I'm sure that anybody watching this would love to work with you. How can they get a hold of you, Dawn? Well, my website is, well, you mentioned at the beginning that I, um, I, I want my clients to know that they are wonderful and that they have the power to 
mm -hmm. uh, create the life that they want. My company name is actually Wonderful Powerful Me, and which becomes an affirmation for my clients that Wonderful Powerful Me, it's not about me, it's about an affirmation for you. And so my website is wonderfulpowerfulme.com and they can go there and uh, contact me through the website. And there's actually the capability to directly schedule an appointment that's convenient for you based on the schedule that I have set up on my website. Perfect. And of course, and from there, of course, they can link to Daphne's website. I was going to say, and then there's Daphne as well. Yeah. So you can link up with Daphne and she will help you find Dawn. And of course, our website here and uh, social media. So absolutely delightful speaking with you this evening. Thank you, Dawn, for your time and, and for your passion and for all the amazing work that you're doing in the world with AP Healing. Thank you very much, Sam. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Bye.